Hello. Today we are going to talk about positive solutions for families and making a connection. I want you to think of someone who was really special to you when you were growing up. What made you think of this person? And what did they do that made them important or special to you? Every child needs one person who is crazy about them. This is such an important quote for us to remember. It is important for every child to have someone who is crazy about him or her. We want to be the person in our child's life who makes them feel loved and special. The person that they can always count on. Just like the special person in our life that we just talked about. With this in mind, let's talk a little about the idea of spending quality time with our children. We have all heard that it is important to have quality time with our children. But the reality is that getting quality time may be a little challenging. Let's talk about what those challenges might be and then what we can do about it. Let's start with the benefits of spending quality time with your children. Why do you think this is important? How would your child benefit? How would you benefit? Some of the benefits can be increased self-esteem, getting to know your child better, having a more pleasant household, children growing up with good relationships. It helps children interact with others. And children love it when we spend time with them and when we give them attention. But we know there can be many barriers as well. Some of the barriers might be parents feel they do not have enough time due to other work, other children, or other obligations. Parents are stressed. And maybe some parents don't know how to play with your child. If you think about those lists, do you think the benefits seem to outweigh the barriers? It certainly looks like the benefits to our children are things that would help build positive relationships, support their social and emotional development, and help them feel loved, competent, and confident. Now that we have seen how the benefits outweigh the barriers, let's talk about how we can build positive relationships with our children. One way to think about your relationship with your child is as a tank that needs to be filled and refilled on a regular basis. We can all relate to filling up our car's gas tank. We always need to refill the tank. It is the same way with our children. Their tanks always need refilling. One can consider times when we are negative, harsh, or critical, or when we nag our children as draining the gas from their tanks. Think about a time when someone was harsh or negative to you. How did that make you feel? When we actively build positive relationships with hugs, smiles, encouraging statements, listening, and playing, it's as if we are filling our child's gas tank. When we fill our child's tank, we are strengthening our relationship and building their competence and confidence. The more we fill and refill their tanks, the more confidence they will have in developing relationships with others. It is important to remember that building positive relationships is mainly about positive time and attention and not giving your child things. Some things that are a no-cost strategy for building positive relationships could be reading a book, taking a walk, singing favorite songs, eating dinner together, hugs, high five, kisses, talking in the car, saying I love you, asking about their day, letting your child be your special helper, and playing together. Take a moment to think of two or three things that you can do with your child over the next week to encourage and build a positive relationship with your child. Building on the filling, refilling tank idea, I would like to share a powerful tool that you can use to support your child's competence and confidence, as well as change their behavior. That tool is using positive comments and encouragement. You can do this by catching your child doing the behaviors that you would like to see and encouraging them to continue those behaviors. A lack of encouragement can lead to increased amounts of inappropriate behaviors and less and less positive behaviors and interactions. And the good news is encouragement doesn't cost anything. Here are six tips to encourage your child. Tip one, get your child's attention. Tip two, 
Use behavior specific language. Tip three, keep it simple and avoid combining encouragement with criticism. Tip four, encourage with enthusiasm. Tip five, double the impact with physical warmth. And six, use positive comments and encouragement with your child in front of others. In the next few days, I want you to take some time to try and encourage your child at least five times. Watch to see how you think it makes your child feel when you give positive comments and encouragement and how it makes you feel too. Remember that positive comments and encouragement can be done anywhere, at the grocery store, in the car, and during bath time. Some ideas of ways to give your child encouragement this week would be, what a good problem solver you are. You were able to open your snack container. It's so much fun to play with you. You are so good at taking turns. You are being so kind when you helped your sister get a snack. And wow, you did such a great job picking up your toys tonight. You put everything in the toy box. To recap what we discussed tonight and things you should try at home to make a connection with your child are try to refill or fill your child's relationship tank. Try to use positive comments and encouragement with your child. And most importantly, have fun together. Thank you for taking the time to watch this parent workshop. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.